Saw. 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 Why do you persecute me? Who are you? I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now, get up and stand on your feet. I have appeared to appoint you as a servant and as a witness of what you have seen of me and what I will show you. I will rescue you from your own people and from the nations. I am sending you to them to open their eyes and turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God. For I am commanding that you bring salvation to the ends of the earth. Paul, we should turn back. Paul, we should stick to places we know are safe. Remember what happened the first time in Lystra? They tried to kill you. Yes, Timothy. The people left me for dead, but God never left me. But others have died. James. Stephen! God never left them either. You know what the Lord commanded us. I made you a light for the Gentiles, that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. He will decide our next move. Come to Macedonia. Please, come to Macedonia. Help us. Help us. Timothy, 
You will look for a synagogue. Silas and I will explore the city. Fortune's told here. See the snake girl who can tell your future. Fortunes! Fortunes! Come in! Come in! Don't be shy, she won't hurt you. Come in! Come in! Ah, come in, come in! These men are the servants of the most high God. These men... Quiet! These Quiet! You're scaring the customers! Are the Quiet! She's just a child. Quiet! High God. Please, see, 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 These are finest cloths from Thyatira. They're made out of our purest purple dyes. They're fine, too fine for me. I'm a tent maker. I use material that is tougher and sturdier. What brings you here? I'm Paul of Tarsus, a traveler and a servant of God. And I'm Lydia, a seller of fine cloths. Welcome to Philippi. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down. Ancels, ancels, statues. Statues, charms, come here. I have got the best incense, incense, incense for your ancestral spirits. Incense, come here, come here. I have got a charm for you to a word of evil. Okay, a statue, statue for your family shrine. 
Hey, go away! What's up? I have got all the gods known to Rome and will gladly provide you with any that are unknown. Name your favorite there, sir, and they will make it for you. We have no favorite. There's only one true god. What does he look like? Hmm. Or is he a she? The true god is the lord of heaven and earth and does not live in temples built by human hands. His image cannot be made of gold or silver or wood. Gods! Gods! I won't be held responsible if he dies. What can we say to people like this? They'll never listen. It is no different from everywhere else we've been. They're just like us. People with their own struggles. Don't be timid. God has given us the power to proclaim the good news about Jesus. It is God's will for them to learn the truth about their Savior. I've been told some people meet regularly by the river for prayer. Perfect. That's where we start. Tomorrow. On the Sabbath. What are you doing here? It's a very peaceful spot. A place to think and pray in safety. My friends and I come here regularly. We come here to pray and discuss the teachings of the of Moses and the prophets. You know the holy scriptures. We're learning. Some Jews we met taught us about the holy days to observe, Sabbath rules to follow. I know those laws. At one time, I was very zealous to obey them. God wants us to be good. That's what he expects. So how will God accept us when we do not live up to his expectations? We must try harder, live better lives, be kind to people, such as your good kindness yesterday. When you helped the beggar boy. I try. 
I try very hard to do what's good and right. But I fear in my heart it's not enough. Not enough for God to want me and love me. Your son. Yes. He died. I understand you following the religious rules, doing good things for others, but have you done everything perfectly? Because that's what God demands. I can't. I failed. How could I ever hope that God would love me? You're bleeding. Can I help? It's not my blood. I had to bury a man. Stay with us a while. No! We can help you. Yeah. I have good news for you. God loves you. God loves all of you. And he sees you as perfect in his eyes. Not because of what you've done, but because of what his son did. The Messiah you read about in the scriptures. I have seen him. I have seen him, Jesus the Christ. Jesus? The Jewish teacher in Jerusalem? He was much more than a teacher. He is the son of God. The only one who perfectly obeyed the laws of God and save the world from death. How could Jesus save this world? He's killed, crucified like a common criminal. Jesus willingly went to that cross. He suffered and died in our place. He endured God's judgment for all our failures, for the sins of the whole world. Three days after, he came alive again and showed himself to his disciples. They saw his wounds on his hands, on his feet, on his side. More than 500 of his followers saw him. 40 days after he was raised from the dead, he returned to heaven, where he rules over all things for the sake of those who follow him. Because of Jesus, God loves you. But how? I'm unworthy. How can I have a life with God? Jesus did everything necessary for you to have life with God. It's a gift earned by Jesus for you. A gift? not dependent on what I've done. Those who are baptized into Jesus are clothed with his perfect obedience. We are radiant and without sin in God's eyes. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. He will never leave you. Wash away my guilt and cleanse me from my sins. Create in me a pure heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Give me money. This is all I've got. I'll give no more. Go. Jesus. Hey, 
these men are the servants of the most high God. These men are the servants of the most high God. What God? Do you mean Zeus? But these men are Jews. These men. There is only one God. He's the one who gives you the air you breathe. And the rain that makes your crops grow. Oh. God is not found in images of gold or wood fashioned by human hands. Or he's limited to temples or sacred places. He's everywhere. But it is here, in our hearts, that he wants to dwell. To make our hearts his temple. The most high God who created everything and everyone, he is the only true God. All good things come from him. But remember, keep all your gods and ancestors happy, or troubles may come into your life. Only he can protect us from evil. And there's a day coming when he'll judge all people and reveal things done in secret, all the hatred, the cruelty. The jealousy, the greed, all the immoral and selfish behavior that arises from our heart. And there is only one who can save us from that judgment. God's son, Jesus. These men are the servants of the most high God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. Jesus has set you free, child. What happened? What happened? What have... What have you done? Tell the spirit to return. Tell it. Beg it to return. You're useless to me now. Useless. You. I'll make you suffer for this. Citizens of Philippi, will you let these people mislead us with their evil ideas? No! Will you stand by as they destroy our way of life? No! 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 are stirring up trouble in our city. They deny our gods. They drove out the spirit from my slave and they ruined my business. Enough! Have them stripped and beaten. Take them away! No, 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 no.
Listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call you as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that higher than I. For you have been my refuge. A strong tower against the foe. The freedom that we have as believers. No one can take it away from us. Now this prison walls. <laughs> Not this chains. Nothing. Nothing can separate us from the love of our God. In my last breath, I will preach in the name of Jesus who saved me. Heavenly Father, keep us faithful to you. Give us peace in times of trouble. Mm -hmm. Let us love in the face of the violence and the hate. I do to be saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you'll be saved. You and your household. But how can God forgive me? I'm unclean. He sent his son Jesus to take away your sin. Jesus died for us. He freed us from the chains of guilt and shame just as we are afraid from our shackles here. In baptism, God washes away sin and brings new life through the death and resurrection of his son, Jesus. I want his forgiveness and his gift of a new life. We all do. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
the magistrate orders that these two are to be released immediately. You're free to go. Go in peace. Tell your magistrate that we were falsely accused, beaten publicly without a trial, thrown into prison, and we are Roman citizens. And now he wants to get rid of us quietly. Roman citizens? Both of you? A grave mistake. We uh, beg your forgiveness. But I ask you to leave the city now, in peace. We accept your apology. And we will leave your city. Soon. I promise to leave the city. Luke will stay with you. He will teach you God's word. Remember, now you are a part of a kingdom greater than Rome can ever be. You're all citizens of heaven. And one day Jesus will return to bring you to live by his side forever, and that is something no one can take away from you. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, you whom I love, my joy and crown. Stand firm in your faith and don't be frightened by those who oppose you. Continue to learn God's word. Pray together. Care for each other. Rejoice in the Lord always. Oh, I must leave. Grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. I come with you. I have nothing here now. Stay. Luke will teach you about Jesus, your Savior. Christ Jesus, we are all children of God through faith. For all of us who were baptized into Christ have clothed ourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female. 
for we are all one in Christ Jesus. Lord, preserve those new believers in the faith until the coming of your Son, Jesus. And make us a light for the nations that we might bring your salvation to the ends of the earth. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>